Right, Steve and Jen, it smells better out here and it looks a lot better, which means work is pretty much wrapping up on site. Now, all of this is according to the St. Clair County Commissioner Chairman Stan Bateman, who says this week the County Commission, ADEM and the EPA will all meet to begin the transition process to see what happens here, what happens next here at the landfill. You can see the landfill is, uh, has been grassed and some green grass is already coming up. That's so surprising. St. Clair County Commissioner Stan Bateman is pleased with the progress the EPA has made in the last three months. Now they'll all work together to determine what happens next. The, the work is basically finished. Uh, I think there's a couple of inspections to be done, but uh, we have a transition uh, meeting on Wednesday, a Zoom call and a, a video conference. Uh, to transition between EPA, ADEM, the state and the county and we'll get this back into uh, a piece of private property that's not a danger to anybody anymore. The EPA wrapped up their air monitoring last Friday and they'll test the air quality before they leave. Bateman says what's been burning on site is still one of his main concerns. What did I breathe before this happened? Uh, and and a, a little bit of a little bit of paint and a, and a little bit of uh, a uh, caulk wouldn't necessarily be what we need. We've got to continue to monitor what runs out of this landfill from a water quality standpoint. And we've also got to monitor the health of the individuals uh, that were out here that breathed so much of the smoke to begin with. And he says they're also finalizing plans to begin road work to fix all the damage from so many trucks moving in and out of the landfill for the last few months. That road is torn all to pieces, but it's been taken on by Auburn University and the Alabama Department of Transportation as a test project to use uh, asphalt made out of ground up car tires. And those road repairs will not begin until the EPA leaves the landfill. And Bateman says he expects when they meet on Wednesday that the site will be returned to the state and they'll determine what happens next. Reporting live in Moody, Ambria Chapman, WBRC, Fox 6 News on your side.